morning. Welcome back to the farm. Today, we are set to start our routine with our milk cow and our milk heifer and get them used to what their routine is going to be once their calves come. We are also taking some pictures of some of Farmer Joe's work. Ah! Farmer Joe has been working on cutting boards with this beautiful resin. So pretty. He has a few different things going on. We have a nice charcuterie board with spalted maple. He's working on getting um, all of that finished because we need to send pictures to some of our art and craft fairs that we have going on around the area this year because we need to send an application in and see if Farmer Joe can't get a booth and start selling his stuff at the craft and art fairs. <laughs> Miss Independent. All right, guys, let's get our shoes a light zip up on, okay? What you doing today? I am woodworking. I am making cutting boards and coasters. Go green! I already told them that we were taking pictures of some of the stuff upstairs for the application for the craft and art fairs this year. Yeah. So Farmer Joe's hard at work. Here is one beautiful piece that he poured last night. All right, so this morning I was getting ready before all the kids got up. I had fed the cows some of their hay because you don't want to feed them any alfalfa or sweets and that kind of thing on an empty stomach. So I had already fed the cows their food and then we went through and did the rest of the morning chores. We did some breakfast and some homeschool, didn't we? And now we're taking a break because this is the time of day that we will be milking, milking the cow. And I'll get to help a lot. Woo. It's important to get our cows on a good routine before they have their calves. So that way they're used to what they need to do, what's required of them. Cows are very much creatures of habit. They like their routines. We're trying to get that established here before they start calving so everyone knows what to do and when. Farmer Joe had redone some of this little run-in for me and fenced off this stanchion area that he built the stanchion last year. And we have a nice little calf pen area there. So we got a nice little makeover this year, just in time for milking season. get the cows on a regular routine so that way they know what to do and know what to expect from the experience. <laughs> this is Fanny. She was our milk cow last year. Norman right there is her baby from last year. She is pregnant, definitely. Nice and wide. Just getting her used to being in the stanchion here, letting her know that she has nothing to fear with being in here. She knows what to do. She climbed right in. And Giselle, she kind of knows from last year too. She didn't have a calf, but she saw what Fanny was getting. Special little treat. 
Giselle has a baby too. She's pregnant. She is, yes. And she will potentially be our second milk cow. It'll just be nice to get her used to what to do in case we ever do want to be milking two cows at once and get her used to milking and all that that entails. One of the things that we do is we just start touching them everywhere that we would be touching when we're milking. Fanny pretty much knows what to do because I milked her last year. She was a heifer last year. Fun fact, cow, as we like to call them, is a general term. They are actually called heifers until they've had their first calf. I think it's like the first or second calf. They still might be considered a heifer depending on who you talk to until they've had their second successful calving. But then they're called cows. Now she hasn't even begun really to bag up a whole lot. Still pretty empty from when we dried her off after we weaned Norman. Isn't that right? All right, I need to remember to unhook the panel that we have to hold her over to one side. We didn't have that last year, so I didn't even think about it, and it was still hooked when we unlatched her head. That was a different experience. Now it is Giselle's turn. Giselle. So we're just gonna let her eat it right there. Um, she's still a little scared of the stanchion. Fanny. So we're just getting her used to it. Fanny pants? No. Gosh, they're strong. <laughs> Come on. It's right up there. tomorrow? A hundred chicken. A hundred chickens. Should we make sure we have everything ready for them? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. So why so many chicks, you ask? Well, we had enough last year to suit the needs for our family. Because of predators, we lost quite a few of them. We were selling eggs at that time as well. We are upping our chicken egg production this year because we have quite a few people, family, friends, neighbors, that would like to buy our eggs. We just don't have the supply to meet the demand. We are getting a bunch of them at once and just knocking it out. We did have a hen go broody last year and hatch a couple chicks for us. And that's kind of the way we would rather do it and maintain our flock. We decided to invest this one time and get a bunch of them all at once. And that way we can maintain that amount to meet the demands of our friends and family and all of our customers that want some fresh pastured eggs. Here's our heating pads. We have one more of those. Farmer Joe, yes. is it in the room? It's in the tack room. In the tack room. All right, let's get these set up and ready for the baby chicks. We got some fresh bedding in here. So Farmer Joe, yes. are you excited about getting a bunch of chicks again? Uh-huh. <laughs> you just don't like the baby chick phase, right? Not too much. Why? What about it? I mean, they're cute, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what about them gets annoying? <laughs> I'm actually surprised you said that was the thing that annoyed you the most. I thought you were going to say it was the dust. That too. The dust. That is one annoying thing. From the shavings, no matter what we put in, it's always at least a little dusty. A little. Well, a lot. 
It's only for a few weeks. And then they'll be out, out on pasture. Two more? Okay. Actually, four. Four more. Wow, that was a good grab. There you go. So we don't use heat lamps. We just use these infrared heating thingies. The thingy-mabob jiggers. That's what I like to call things when I don't know what to call them. So our baby chicks will have the heat from there. We'll have some food and water. And that's really all they need besides a nice sheltered place. We have this top that can open, has chicken wire on it. Well, they're safe in here. It's inside of our barn, which is under our house. I think I hear Farmer Joe giving the kids popsicles as a snack. What you got there? Popsicles? Yeah. Popsicles. What color you want, honey? What you got? What color? Popsicles. It oh. is pink. Mm. Popsicles. I have the same one as Axel. Which mm. way? Oh, Very healthy, Farmer Joe. Yes, it is. <laughs> what do you want? I'll take purple. Uh, I'll 